Hi, I'm Brian Ierson and I'm one of the instructors at the Computer Workshop. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue to present Visio 2021, and in this case, I'm going to create a rack diagram, and I'm also going to show you how you can import and use stencils that you can find online. To begin with, I have Visio already up and running, and as you can see, I have a blank document. We're going to start our rack diagram by using a rack diagram template. To this end, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to choose New. And you can see we have all of these templates. And if you scroll through, you actually do have one down here for diagramming racks. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick tap. I want this, and I'm going to click Create. So with a blank document now open, I want to take a quick moment to notice that the shapes panel on the left side of my screen has a series of stencils associated to this type of template that we just opened. Now in this case I'm going to start by working with my rack mounted equipment and I'm going to drag a rack into place on my drawing. Now I can begin to add all of the elements or components that I want to have or have in my rack. I'll begin with a power supply. I'll put that down near the bottom. And then I will start to add in the other elements. So I'll put a server into place. Um, might want to have a router and a switch and a power strip a keyboard tray so that I can later add in a monitor and any other elements. As you can see, drawing this rack is no more difficult than drawing anything else in Visio. You do also have the option to right click on your drawing shapes and bring up the shape data panel and modify or add in any of the shape data that you would like to include and we did discuss this in an earlier video, how you can modify these to suit your own personal needs. Now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just suggest that we may have specific equipment and these little shapes do not accurately represent that given piece of equipment. Now that equipment is coming from a vendor in order to find those, you simply do a quick Google search for your vendor and Visio stencils, and you'll get a, quite a few results. As an example, I'm going to show you, let's say, Cisco. So I have just done a quick search for Cisco Visio stencils, and you can see that my first search result is Cisco itself, and if I click on this link, any Visio stencils offered by Cisco will be or are all listed here. You can simply now locate and download the desired stencil, unzip that onto your computer, and then open it from within Visio. Now I have already gone through and downloaded one, so I am going to just show you how to open that from inside of Visio. Now back in Visio, I want to go ahead and open up that stencil that I've just downloaded from Cisco. And to do this, I will go back over to the Shapes panel, to the More Shapes option, and choose Open Stencil. In the Open Stencil window, I will navigate to wherever I have saved my stencils. These will be files with the extension .vssx. And then I can select that, choose open, or simply double click it, and in a moment's time you will see your stencil that you have downloaded has now been added and opened into your Visio drawing. As discussed in an earlier video, you could consider using these shapes and then building your own custom stencil with only the shapes you want from these downloaded stencils. 
Well, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope that you managed to pick up a couple of new tricks and ideas. If you did and you like what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Remember that we do put out new videos on a weekly basis. So please join us next week to see what's next. And until then, take care for now.